And welcome to the Pursuit of Truth, just a quick one to do with Pursuit of the Truth Flight 6, with conspiracy cats have been questioning me about the, um, the video I did about the COVID-19 stats, and um, he's trying to, because it, it was, the data from May to December was 10,000 people, and 60, uh, just under 6,000 were unvaccinated, and 4,000 were vaccinated, one, two, or booster. Plus 14 days so that's the actual raw data and that's what I'm trying to say is that it would be better if we put raw data out because it's you can't mislead because if you start doing ratios you start doing like he's trying to do in his thing which is what the, the government tries to do is you know doing a per 100,000 and making out because there's more vaccinated people so it's not so much of a deal but what I'm trying to say is actually for the NHS staff from May to December the actual real people that they dealt with. This is the real data. 10,000 people and 4,000 were vaccinated, uh, 6,001. Now, you could draw that. If you then start doing those ratio things, then you can make out, well, because there's more um, vaccinated people, so that means the risk is less and all that kind of stuff. And then you can say that. But that's not the actual data. Um, but I understand why people do that because they're talking about projections and things. But the problem is with that is you can't, it's difficult to project people and medical conditions and how that affects them because they're all that they are variables. Like say in September, in that same data, it was 50 50, 50 unvaccinated, 50 vaccinated that actually they were seen by the NHS staff. So, you know, if you pick one month and try to extrapolate that, you'll get different results because you, you can't do that with certain things. So, wow. I'm sure they have formulas to try and get around that. But that's the problem I have, whereas if you put the raw data, we can all see exactly how many people the NHS had to deal with. Now, you could say, because it's 60, 40, you could say, well, there were still 4,000 uh, 4, people going in there who were vaccinated, it's not working. You could draw that if you really wanted to, but the thing is you don't really know that. It could be that the 4,000 people, they didn't have the good immune response. Because remember, it's not 100% vaccinations. So they could have been, because it's only 86%, they could be the 16% uh, 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 a result of that it didn't really work for them. And that's why they're there. So it's not to do with the vaccine not working. It's because they were like unvaccinated people. So you could say that. Or you could say that the vaccine's not working because there's so many people turning up there. Or it could be something else, like... The 10,000 people who are turning up there, such a small amount really, that are going critical care over was it seven months, May to December. Could it be something else that's causing them there? Nothing to do with vaccination, but you're just assuming that because you want to make that argument. It could be that they all have diabetes type 1, or they have, or they're all old age, all over 60. Um, so we'd have to know the breakdowns of those things. Or it could be that the primary reason for them being in there wasn't actually COVID 19. So it may be the ones who did have vaccinations, their main reason was wasn't COVID-19, just happened to have it, but they've been counted in the figures. So there's lots of extrapolations you could do with all this to get different kinds of, you know, whatever your agenda was, you could pick it and make it out. Someone who's sort of anti-vaxxer could use that as that. Someone who wants to go for the government science view could use that, like the conspiracy cats is, is doing. Um, or it could be just something else that we don't know about because they haven't released that data because they didn't ask the people, wait a minute, did you have diabetes? Because remember, this is over seven months. But if that data was released, you may find out that, yeah, 90% uh, of them had diabetes type 1 and the other 10% had diabetes type 2. And it's not actually because the vaccine wasn't working or was working. It was because the it, uh, people who have got diabetes, the vaccine doesn't work so well or, or, you know, all sorts of reasons that you possibly extrapolate. But I would much prefer, and I don't know whether other people, and I don't know why they use percents, but percents usually... You know, you can easily, if you don't know what the actual raw data is, you could easily mislead people by saying it's a 10% increase, uh, and, you know, or it's a 100% increase, whereas actually like could be two uh, actual figures. So I prefer raw data being used because then you can see exactly what happened. There's no need to extrapolate things or say this amount of people, that amount of people, because that's creating an agenda either way which you do it. But if you say that 10,000 people turn up from May, December, these are actual, this actually happened, to the NHS, 10,000 people turned up, uh, 6,000 of them were unvaccinated, 4,000 were, okay, so you know there's more unvaccinated than vaccinated that they had to deal with. And that's the and that's the actual, so when you start doing the other things, ratios and extrapolating all that kind of stuff, you then may end up misleading people or sending them down the, the rabbit hole that you want to talk about rather than the actual figures, whereas I think with the figures, 
you can still do your percentage if you want to, but at least with those fig at least if you can see those figures, then you can see, oh, okay, I understand. Because that's what, when I saw the figures, and I wanted to go check the source, because most people don't do that, and when I checked the source, it surprised me that, oh, those are the figures, is not quite the same as what they're saying. Maybe not the government people, but definitely the media, how they're latching onto these figures and using them to sell their stories. But yeah, I would like a lot more data to know these 10,000 people, do they have other medical conditions that maybe they shared or age groups that they shared that maybe the real reason they were there. Anyway, take care, take care, take care, take care.